a great crowd in here, so welcome. How is the sound? They're asking how the sound is. Sound okay? Oh, thank you. Okay, this is what I like to call. First of all, I need to um, ask the audience. This is Jonathan Anderson, who is been nice enough to offer his translation services for those who may need them. Um, does anyone feel that they would like um, the translation services or if it gets going and somebody thinks, well, I need, I need a little bit, you can raise your hand. The other thing he has offered to do, if you've noticed the, the gal in the middle, we are recording this whole broadcast. Betsy Merkel, and it will be put up as YouTube in parts. It will be part 106 onward. Jonathan has really very nicely offered to, when we get it up on YouTube, to give us translation for services. So it will also be available in that way for people. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> This is not 
not an easy thing to do. Um, two things, we do have a note from Janet Garcia, who um, was unable to attend tonight, I will read it. It says, I, Janet Garcia, extend greetings to all the voters who made the effort to attend the forum. I offer my apology for not being with you tonight due to a previous com commitment. I appreciate and respect your effort to attend the forum and would like to address any questions you may have for me. If you would submit your questions with your phone number to the moderator, to me, um, I will contact and get back to you. Um, she looks forward to being with the group next week at Simpson United Methodist Church at 8519 Clark Avenue. Okay, so we have each of our candidates has um, picked a card from a deck of cards that I brought with me and that set up the order for tonight's presentation. So we're going to begin with Nelson, um, followed by John Casey, and then Brian Cummins. John, I'm sorry, Brian. I knew you thought I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then the order will be reversed at the, at the end when they give their um, final statements. And in the middle, we're going to have the questions. So we're using, as Gloria mentioned, the League of, Room, League of Women Voters format. We're going to ask you to hold all applause until the end um, and don't applaud as they speak or as they answer questions because that takes up time and we're trying to keep to an 8 o'clock um, ending here and we're trying to keep it as open as we can to allow you to have as many questions asked as can. Candidates will have the three minutes for each opening statement and then three minutes for their closing statements and then they will have one minute to respond to each question from the audience. We do have a timekeeper who will be holding up cards to uh, let the candidates know how much time they have left during their presentation. The index cards, as you were told, are there for the questions. Please ask your questions in a general way if you could so all candidates can respond to them. Um, otherwise, a question directed at one candidate won't be asked until the end if we have time. Uh, anyway, the screeners will also group the questions into, can uh, into categories of a similar nature, so it kind of makes sense as to how they are able to give an answer to those. We'd like the questions also to be appropriate for city government, asking questions about the school board or the school system or schools, um, is inappropriate because council people really don't have any effect on the schools. You have to address those to the school board people. So, um, we're going to start with Mr. Cintron, who's going to have his three-minute opening statement. Good evening, residents of Ward 14. Uh, organizers, I'd like to thank Ellen Smith and everybody, uh, the organizers who put this event together. And I'd like to also thank uh, the wives, uh, who are our, our better halves, who stuck with us during this whole election. So, and uh, they're with us, and my better half, Teresa, which I love a lot, who's been walking with me since, uh, since I started the, uh, the campaign. And also to uh, my colleagues, uh, Brian and Brian, Brian Cozy and Brian Cummings. Casey. <laughs> so, okay. uh, I'm a lifelong resident. I've been in the city of Cleveland for the past 40 years. Uh, know the area. We've got my roots established in, in, in the uh, in the sector in the uh, Ward 14 area. I became a councilman from 1998 to 2005. I became a two-term council member. I was a majority leader in my freshman year. Uh, I sat on the most powerful committees, which is the finance committee. The, Community and Development uh, Department Committee, which is the HUD office. And why I'm saying this? Because I had that experience where those are the two most powerful committees that bring the dollars into our community. And, and with that note, I was instrumental 
with some of the development that occurred in Ohio City. But I can't take that credit by myself because I know there was something that was developed through years. In Ohio City, you had Mary Rose Hogarth and my predecessor, Helen Smith, who had a vision for that area. When I became the councilman, they passed that baton to me and said, Nelson, this is what we want to continue doing in Ohio City, and we continue doing that development in Ohio City. The West Side Market was instrumental also. Back then, my wife wanted to charge parking at the West Side Market. I was a member of council who stood strongly and rejected a fee to be charged to park at the West Side Market because that West Side Market is the jewel of our area. I say to West 25th Street Bank, McDonald's made investments. We say the corner buildings on Park and West 25th Street, and we were doing a lot of development for housing through the Park Metro area, through the uh, Tremont area, and also to other sections. I look forward to answering your questions. I'm eager to make sure that your answers, uh, my answers, are to your delighted uh, benefit. And if not, come up to me after the, after the forum, and I will explain to you a little bit more because we only have one minute to try to answer most of your uh, questions. Again, Nelson Centron, I'm here for you. I'm here to represent and ready to roll my sleeves and represent this world once again and make sure that City Hall understands that people needs to come first. Uh, keep note, the Carnegie South Branch Library, I will fight to the end to make sure it opens up again. Thank you. We know that we had six questions um, that were written in Spanish. Are there people in the audience that need a translation of what Nelson just presented? Neighborhood Prevention Intervention Treatment Services um, and built the neighborhood back up. 
Personally, I am a founder and uh, was a 10-year leader of our block club. I founded the West End Block Club, which is up at the West End of, of Ward 14 now. I'm a former member of the Detroit Shoreway Community Development Organization, which was part of establishing, when I was on the board, your, your current community development organization. Um, I'm a family man. I'm a former member of the Cleveland Police Review Board. I'm an advocate for individuals who are underrepresented. I'm a volunteer for Special Olympics, as we have a daughter who has uh, Down syndrome and a disability. I'm a volunteer for Young Athletes, in the 2009 Our Lady of Mount Carmel Man of the Year. And I've been recognized by the 2nd District Police Community Relations, Detroit Shoreway, and the Northwest Deanery Holy Name Society for outstanding uh, community involvement. And I was cut off, so thank you very much. Brian Cummins is our next speaker, three minutes. Good evening, everyone. I, too, would like to just thank everybody um, involved in organizing these forums. Um, in, in the lead up to this, I actually had some concern talking with some of the black clubs that there was fair representation at public meetings. Too often, um, I think politically, I, I was involved in candidates' nights um, seven, eight years ago when I was running about the corporation. And um, it was difficult sometimes. People on council, people in elected office, their incumbents, sometimes um, don't like to see information, particularly through the 501c3s that we fund. Um, I've told uh, Gloria and others involved in this, I'm going to ask um, the local 501c3 organizations to reconsider promoting the next debate. I think this is a nonpartisan, um, being run very professionally and um, in, in a very open forum, and I see no reason why our local nonprofit organizations cannot assist us in promoting these forms. Uh, that's my commitment. I am the current councilman in Ward 14. For those of you who know me, um, I, and for those who don't, I was um, the council representative in Ward 15 in Old Brooklyn and Brooklyn Center. I was redistricted in the redistricting in 2009, and my wards shifted north, uh, and I ran in Ward 14 in one uh, almost four years ago. A little history uh, for those who may not know, um, I actually graduated from Cleveland State, finance degree, business administration, was in banking for six years at National City Bank, had a lot of retail and um, various jobs, as everybody does, go through college, um, didn't go to school, didn't go to college right away out of high school, worked at Cotton Club Bottling Factory and a few factory jobs, ultimately went to National City Bank, <coughs> didn't really enjoy the banking career, and my wife and I joined the Peace Corps uh, when I was at the age of 30 years old. Um, we, I learned Spanish in the Dominican Republic. Bienvenido a todos, que se puede hablar por español. And learned my Spanish there and then did some work with microenterprise business development as well as work in Russia and work in Latvia. I was um, afuera del país, como ex hero. I was outside the country uh, for almost nine years working in community development. That's led me to my work in Cleveland over the last 10, 12 years. Uh, in terms of being very active with historical societies, founding, helped found the Friends of Big Creek, which is a watershed group, was very active with the Brooklyn Center Community Association and the um, Southwest Citizens Organization. Uh, my overall goals have been uh, to focus on safety issues, uh, housing conditions, community economic development, and job growth, and I primarily work on trying to empower the community, because there's no way that a council person can ever do this alone. We really look to empower block clubs to be our eyes and ears in the street and also work with small businesses to assist them. And I'll be speaking more about some of those assistant uh, programs that we have. Thank you. 